Praise the name of the Lord. We have two group of people to be ordained today. We have the honorary elders, and we have those to be ordained into the position of full pastors. And we're going to start with the honorary elders. Dear beloved Daddy Sir, the General Oversee of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, on behalf of the Governing Council of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, it is a privilege and honor to present to you candidates for the 2024 Annual Convention Ordination Exercise of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Nigeria, today, Sunday, 11th August 2024. We have, by the special grace of God, five candidates to be ordained to the office of honorary elders in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. May I ask the candidate to please step to the altar? The honorary elders candidates, please move into the altar now and sit on the chair provided on the altar. Daddy, sir, may I humbly and respectfully present this candidate as the honorary elder to be ordained today in the name of Jesus. Let somebody shout hallelujah. In the Redeemed Christian Church of God, there are men and women who had served God meritoriously for several years. And just as in the secular world, when someone had done exceptionally well, they give them honorary doctorate degrees. In the Redeemed Christian Church of God, we ordain them as honorary elders. So these are people who have been very, very exceptional in the service of the Most High God. And the ordination is done personally by the general overseer. It cannot be delegated. So I want you to please 
if you don't mind, stand on your feet, raise your hands to all these people who are going to be ordained as honorary elders. I'm saying you, please, rise up. Let's give honor to those whom honor is due. And pray for them, stretch your hands toward them, and intercede for them. Then you, elders in the redeemed Christian Church of God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The anointing that you need to fulfill the office of an elder, the Almighty God will give to you generously. The Bible says if there's any sick among us, we are to send for the elders. From now on, every sick person you pray for shall be healed. Amen. When you pray for the dead, the dead shall rise. Amen. When you command blind eyes, they will open. Amen. When you command deaf ears, they will open. When you command the dumb, the dumb will begin to speak. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will not fail God. And you will make it to heaven at last. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Congratulations. God bless you. Congratulations. God bless you. Congratulations. God bless you. Congratulations, God bless you. Congratulations, God bless you. Congratulations, God bless you. You can go back to your seat. Praise the name of the Lord. I think it, more, it could be louder than that. Praise the name of the Lord. It's now the turn of the full pastor. Dearly beloved daddy, sir, the general of the redeemed Christian Church of God, on behalf of the governing council of the redeemed Christian Church of God, it is a privilege and honor to present to you candidate for the 2024 annual ordination exercise of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Nigeria. Today, Sunday 11th, August 2024, we have by the special grace of God, 2,157 candidates to be ordained to the office of pastors in the redeemed Christian Church of God. Daddy, may I humbly and respectfully present them to you. I want all the pastors to be on their feet.
Even the general vice himself is a pastor. So these people are about to be, in the next few minutes, become equal to the general vice It's a very special moment in their lives. It's probably the last opportunity they will get to take from the general vice anything that they want for themselves. The ordination will be done by anointing with oil, the laying of hands, proclamation and prayer. I used to do everything by myself, but because of the number now that God had uh, blessed us with, the anointing with oil and the laying on of hands will be done by people that have delegated to do that for us. When they finish, we'll make the proclamation and the prayer. I want you to please just stretch your hands toward them, wish them whatever you wish yourself, so that part of the anointing can flow over to you. Go ahead, pray for them even as the pastors who are going to ordain them will proceed. The oil is already there. Go ahead. All right. In the meantime, the choir will minister.
We ordain you, full pastors in the redeemed Christian Church of God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Almighty God Himself will overshadow you. The Holy Spirit will be your strength. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth will be lost in heaven. Whatever you have to come will come. Whatever you have to go will go. You will not fail. You will not fall. God will stand by you. He will draw you close to himself. It will be your strength. And in the kingdom of God, you will not be missing. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Well, let someone shout hallelujah. I think... Uh, the pastors from regional pastors and above who please go down and rejoice with these people celebrate with them for about five minutes before we proceed further and uh, the band will give us danceable music so pastors from pastors in charge of region and above you can go ahead and celebrate with your new Brothers, over to you. My Jesus today. Jesus 
offerings to the Lord and ministering will be the pastors ordained 10 and 20 years ago in the redeemed Christian church of God. 